So um, at Port Automation, uh, we implement uh, computerized systems that improve operational efficiency and safety in ports and container terminals around the world. Um, so this is from tracking and tracing um, of uh, containers and cargo handling equipment to real-time visualization, so uh, real-time mapping and automation of movements and operations. And we have different systems for this. Um, just a um, quick, introduction, quick introduction to the company as um, it was known to um, uh, Tuxpan as well, as they were looking for um, uh, a smoother operation to uh, join um, their automated um, uh, operation with many trucks that were coming into the terminal. Um, Let's have a look at this um, because they were the first semi-automated terminal in Mexico and the second one in Latin America, equipped with eight automated stacking cranes and four ship to shore cranes. Um, they are an import export terminal, so they have uh, 30 internal trucks, but thousands of external trucks coming in. So they were really looking to make this a smoother operation and uh, a seamless flow basically between the external trucks and any of the equipment going around and uh, the automated um, stacking cranes. Um, so they knew um, that we had a lot of experience in this area as we um, have been working over 25 years with uh, radio frequency identification. And um, well, they were looking for answers in how to um, do uh, an operation of internal and external trucks. Uh, with this highly automated uh, process. Um, so to automatically identify what is coming in and going out of the terminal, also monitor the progress throughout the terminal and identify what is being handled by the automated stacking crane. And to uh, automatically ensure that imports are loaded on the correct truck. Um, so this all to increase reliability and uh, reduce turn times, which is exactly what our system truck ID does. Um, we'll have a, a closer look at uh, how it's actually working in a yard, in an operation. Um, so here's a terminal where you can see uh, the check-in at the bottom. Um, this is an administrative point, so trucks are, uh, trucks are checked. And uh, there it can be checked if the right tags are on the screen. So if it's a valid RFID tag that uh, the truck has um, before entering the operation. So they can prevent any kind of hiccups there or even bottlenecks or holdups down the line. Um, so if there's any issues, it's really easy to solve this at the check-in point. And then for the trucks to follow on to a weighing point or uh, customs um, before it really goes into the terminal. And there can be um, uh, the exact order can be uh, determined as well as how the trucks will be flowing in. Then um, throughout uh, any of the points, um, well, readers can be added throughout the terminal. So again, yard progress and queue identification. Um, uh, for the rest um, up to the exit and the, the truck also um, goes through automatically and the RFID tag on the windscreen is recognized automatically. Um, lots of people do know RFID, um, but some more the traditional active form of RFID, which is a, a, a much more substantial device to mount on the windscreen of a truck. Um, not so many people are familiar with the passive solution that we use for our truck ID system as implemented in Tuxpan, Mexico. Um, so there's a substantial difference as we see, um, well, first of all, in the price, as you can see at the bottom of the uh, ticks and crosses that I've put. Um, so on the left side, you can see that um, there's a much higher cost of ownership for the traditional active uh, ID as um, there is uh, about a cost of tens of dollars per tag. So imagine what that would be for thousands of trucks to uh, be mounted uh, with this um, RFID solution. And then there's also the added maintenance of it as the active ID has a battery 
which is not the case for our passive uh, solution in the truck ID because there's no battery there, there's no maintenance required, um, there's a lot less follow-up or actually no maintenance at all and the cost of ownership is just a few dollar cents per tag so as it says at the bottom this is a much more viable solution for a population of thousands of external trucks as they have coming in at Tuxpan uh, port terminal so fit once and forget about it you could say um, so if we look at um, what they actually um, look like, well, we've seen, uh, if we go back to the previous slide, the um, uh, little tag at the bottom. I'm not sure if you can see this fully. Um, I'll just try and move the, the area here slightly. Uh, that's out of the way. Um, and then uh, we can see that uh, it is attached to the windscreen um, on the first visit or it can also be mailed to the trucking company as a very small tags and they're adhesive. So they're basically stickers that you fit on the front windscreen of a truck and they are permanent. So um, if you try and take them off, they will be destroyed. So it really makes sure that it's a unique ID for every truck and there's no tampering um, uh, possible. Um, you can load additional data to it, um, which can be encrypted as well. And this can be done also at the check-in point that I mentioned at the start of the terminal. So if there's any changes there in documentation or otherwise, uh, they can be updated on the tag before it actually enters the terminal. Um, um, I forgot to say actually that it's um, uh, interchangeable because um, the tags are designed to open international standards. So different brands are interchangeable. If we have a good look at um, the truck ID system use, um, we can see that um, for Tuxpan, we connected to the Tideworks terminal operating system. Uh, we're experienced in uh, integrating and connecting to uh, all the leading uh, terminal operating systems. And um, that's our middleware uh, where you see the connection with the terminal operating system. And then uh, to the left of this as the SQL database. And underneath all the truck points for yard tracking uh, for the automated crane and uh, gate and lane identification. So um, truck and tag data <coughs> are contained, excuse me, in an SQL database. And the first step, as I said, is a drive through a check station before entering the op uh, operation. So uh, again, to um, avoid any issues. And um, the truck data can also be manually updated by approved staff. Then a sample process flow uh, from Tuxpan again, um, again, starting with the check station. And um, you can see the whole flow through the terminal without any need for manual confirmation from the driver uh, on which point, um, at which point the truck um, finds itself. So this removes a great um, effort from the truck driver and it makes it um, a lot more reliable also for any um, incidental uh, data entry errors uh, as a manual procedure, of course, is uh, um, perhaps uh, sometimes less accurate than uh, um, if it's read uh, automatically by the tag uh, reader. Um, the truck automatically um, is uh, confirmed out of the terminal uh, when it leaves the gate and um, the, um, the turn time stats are available as well. Uh, so it makes it really easy to use. Um, it's, um, you don't need a, a fully automated or even semi-automated operation uh, for uh, the terminal to reap the benefits of this system as uh, there are uh, manual operations with um, uh, great benefits as well. Uh, as we can see that um, it eliminates uh, data entry errors, um, then uh, the correct container to be identified um, in, in a semi-automatic operation. This is auto ID, um, but manual operations also have auto job promotion um, on the vehicle mounted terminal. 
then uh, the yard tracking, of course, and the um, automatic TOS update, so the um, terminal operating system update as we uh, connected it to um, Tideworks here for Tuxpan. And then um, added information like uh, ID booking and preload details, um, facilitation of auto gate for pre-booked transactions, which really speeds up the process, of course, and again, creates this uh, seamless operation uh, between automation and uh, internal external trucks. Um, and increased security as it's uh, really tamper proof and um, uh, offers uh, the highest reliability. Um, another benefit um, of passive ID, um, RFID, uh, which I haven't mentioned yet, um, a benefit over the uh, active one, apart from the higher cost of the active one and the maintenance as it um, contains batteries is uh, the fact that um, passive RFID doesn't suffer from the longer range that um, active has. So uh, it is extremely accurate in, um, uh, in identifying the correct truck. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Even if uh, there's a long queue of uh, trucks, it will be able to identify each one um, from the other. Summarizing, uh, we can say that all trucks integrated in, um, integrated into a seamless automated terminal operation process flow as um, they are uh, identified at all the steps of the operational stages in the uh, terminal. Um, so there's a low cost uh, for the tag on the windscreen, there's zero maintenance, um, it's secure and tamper proof and, and very easy to use. So again, fit once and forget. That was um, everything I'll need to stay within your time. I hope that's uh, okay for you. Um, thank you very much for your attention. And um, hello, I can see Brian, I think it is. Yep, you're all set, yeah. You're thank okay. you so much, that was awesome. <laughs> if there are uh, any questions, I'm happy to take them or feel free to email us on info at terminalsolutions.co.uk. Uh, if that's okay, Brian.